Hey guys, it's Carlton back now and wow, it's the second last day of the advent guys. So let's get to opening day 23 of my Lego Marvel advent calendar unboxing and review. So um, where is that flap? Uh huh, there, this side over here. Okay, so we're getting the Christmas tree girl. That's nice. Okay, so as usual, I'll quickly build it and then review it. And here's this set's Christmas tree build, which looks okay, I guess. It's not one of the better um, Lego Advent Christmas tree builds, but it's still quite good. Though I feel like this is a bit too oversized. They should have went with that smaller type of dish piece, but that's of course fine. I can always just mod it out with some parts of my own. So the build itself, as you might have already seen in the speed build, is just like using this. And then on the inside part, well, this is how it looks like. So I think it's supposed to represent like... There's the wooden tree over here, but then there are these type of white color, like maybe snow, like just sticking out through the tree. But overall, then it's just like the green leaves of the tree. And then there are these, um, what I like to call infinity gems holders over here, either to represent bubbles or I think I know why they're here, but I'll reveal that to you guys tomorrow with day 24's build. And then for spare parts, you get this green cheese slope piece and this brown stud piece. Overall, today's build is not anything very spectacular or great. It's just a, a regular tree build. But I'm fine with that, you know, because not all the advanced um, tree builds have to be really amazing. And this is still a good build, though. They should have built up a bit more, like adding a cone piece on the top here. But otherwise, it's, it's a good and simple basic build. And with that closing today's video, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 24, the final day of the advent. Bye guys!